Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Along with her massive debts, Mandy Dingle has been hiding her guilty secret of being a financial dominatrix, where she accepts big sums of money online from subservient males. However, everything goes haywire on the day of her Emmerdale wedding when the secret is revealed. In the Woolpack restrooms, Mandy opened up to her new friend, Rona Goskirk, about her massive debt and her decision to have a small wedding in order to manage her finances. Mandy resolves to become a financial dominatrix, or Findom, and begins taking big sums of money from odd men under the pretense of Madame Diamante Dales after speaking with Gail, who suggests that she get rewarded for her natural bossiness. Tracy Shankly immediately refutes this strategy and is shocked to see Mandy in the company of a client. Mandy reassures Tracy that her friend is safe, despite Tracy's worries. When Emilia Spencer informs Mandy she's throwing her a Hindu, she's ecstatic, but it throws her for a loop because she has to fit Bear's salon appointment with a client in before going to the hen. Bear is shocked to hear Mandy mid Findom call when he is alone in the salon, and she asks Amelia to take care of his beard trim. Bear struggles with himself over whether to come clean because he feels that his son Patty Kirk, Dominic Brunt, has been completely betrayed now that the secret has been revealed. He leaves to investigate financial dominance, and what he discovers horrifies him. When he confronts Mandy, she tries to defend her behavior, but Bear is too angry to listen. Bear commits a horrible prank to keep his son safe. He pretends to be Mandy's next client. He confronts her and issues an ultimatum, telling her to notify Patty or Bear will do so without disclosing what he's done. Patty never has to know because she swears to quit instead, but he keeps his word when he finds out that Mandy hasn't let it get to him at all. Lisa, an actress, tells Metro.co.uk that she feels like she needs one more client. Just one more, please. It costs 400 pounds for 20 minutes. That's not like 10 pounds. Isn't that the dingle she is? It provides a nice surprise for the nuptials. Their relationship could end as a result of that choice. After being taken by surprise, Patty must now choose whether to proceed with the wedding. Mandy is unaware that Bear has revealed the truth to her until Patty makes the devastating choice that he no longer wants to marry her. The twist is that it's not for what we might have assumed. According to Dominic Brunt, you can do that, but it appears like he's going to lose it over what she's doing. So I like the tale for that. That is not what it is. You must inform me, involve me, and reveal the truth. On the morning of Mandy's wedding, Bear decides to stomp over to the salon and announce that Patty is aware of everything and that he was Mandy's secret client. Mandy understands that this means her wedding will not happen. Is she able to persuade Patty that all of this was done for the betterment of society? Rose Jackson from Emmerdale will ostensibly get in touch throughout her disappearance in upcoming moments. Spoilers indicate that worried Don Taylor appears to have flawed on Thursday night, and her mother sends her an uncomfortable message. However, after ominous events, Worries for Rose's well-being are mounting, so nothing is as it seems. Viewers are aware that after Rose's falsehoods were revealed, Kim Tate and Will Taylor abandoned her in the middle of nowhere. Then a stranger appeared to be connected to Rose's disappearance act as they drove by her and stopped. When her handbag and other belongings were strewn all over the floor in the episode, Rose was nowhere to be seen giving the impression that something had happened to her. When it becomes apparent that Rose might not be with her, Will and Kim will be wary of one another because they have concealed what they did. A concerning discovery was made on Friday, the day after Rose had left her daughter Dawn a voicemail in which she stated she had to go because she could no longer stay. When Rose's bag was brought in by the police, Will was taken aback and questioned whether Rose had lost something. 
Dylan is anxious to find her mother and is concerned that she may not return by next week. Kim and May are concerned that the truth about what they did may surface when she proposes they hire a private investigator. Kim quickly admits to Will that she is in possession of Rose's phone and suggests they use it to send Don a message in order to prevent her from involving the police. Kim's possession of the phone worries Will, but did she harm Rose in any way? Later, Don is devastated to hear from her mother who has been absent for a while. Rose texts Don to let her know she's leaving forever and won't be returning. Since Kim naturally possesses Rose's phone, it appears that in light of their previous conversation, Kim and Will are genuinely posing as Rose. But what if someone finds out they have the device and what has actually happened to Rose? Could they wind up making things worse? A shocking new teaser trailer for Emmerdale has just surfaced, teasing the dramatic arrival of a new character with shocking discoveries that might upend the village. Watchers will get an early peek at next week's drama, in which Isabel Hodgins' character, Victoria Sugden, is shown struggling to deal with the revelation of an unknown family member. Scenes with Eric Pollard, Chris Chattel, who is having car problems and is missing a close friend's farewell, are followed by the new plot. Victoria, who is always so generous, offers to drive him to the service. But when things fall apart inside the church, Victoria unintentionally triggers a reaction from the grieving son during his mother's memorial. But as soon as she learns that he goes by John Sugden, Oliver Farnworth, she is shocked. Eric's uneasy suggestion that John could be her half-brother and possibly another child of her late father, Jack Sugden, complicates the tale. When John's car breaks down, Mackenzie Boyd, Lawrence Robb, is called to the scene and returns to the Dales. John makes an unexpected visit to the town, which Eric and Victoria discover. The advent of John rapidly causes tension among the locals, according to the Mirror. Oliver Farnworth was slated to play the interesting, Dark hued character John Sugden. It was announced early this month. In a riveting new teaser, Emmerdale presents his entrance. John gives Aaron Dingle a stern look when he appears, and Victoria and he are seen together in the countryside. The scene is set with the recognizable narration. A new Sugden is coming to Emmerdale. Fans of soap operas will recall that Aaron was previously wed to Ryan Hawley's character Robert Sugden, who left the program in 2019 after serving time in prison for the murder of Lee Posner, Christopher Ian Mockery. Robert killed Lee by accident when he attacked him after Lee had horribly raped his sister, Victoria. After being sentenced, Robert cut off all ties to the village and his loved ones, admitting guilt. Nevertheless, many have been optimistic about his comeback especially in light of rumors that Robert might not have been the cause of the death. After the punch, Lee had head injuries, but it became out that he had also been struck by his brother Luke, which might have been fatal. Could the arrival of a new Sugden in the community mean Robert is coming back? Thanks for watching if you liked this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.